Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro where today we'll be taking a bit of a deeper look into using APT CCD flats aid with flat panels and filters. Uh, some people get confused about this and that's mainly because different flat panel devices work differently and how they work affects how you need to calculate for doing dark flats to match your uh, flats. So let's get into this and have a quick look. So for calculating the exposure time for matching dark flats, it varies depending on what device you're using. Um, Lacerta, Pegasus Astro and Yoptic, uh, they work on a method that they try and get rid of any interference from your shutter, whether that be a rolling shutter or a mechanical shutter. While ArtSky and Alnatec and Clones, uh, they need time to warm up the panel before they do it. So for a Lacerta, Pegasus Astro and a Geoptic, uh, the sequence for them is the shutter opens, then they have the delay you set in your panel, uh, then the light panel goes on, takes the exposure and the panel goes off, then they have the delay and the shutter closes. So the total shutter time is actually equal to what APT reports plus two times the delay you have set. Uh, for example, with a 3 second exposure and a 500 millisecond delay, the total shutter time equals the 3 seconds plus 2 times the 500 milliseconds, which equals 4 second exposure for your matching dark flat. While for ArtSky and Alnatec, uh, they do it differently. They turn the panel on, delay so the panel can warm up, uh, the shutter opens for the exposure, shutter closes, delay off, and then the panel goes off. Um, the total shutter time is equal to what APT reports, so there's no need to adjust it for a dark flat if you're using those devices. Uh, there's several ways you can calculate out the time you need. Uh, you can either just do it manually and add, add the exposure time if you've got one of the top ones, or you can look into the FITS header because the information in there is actually the correct exposure time, basically how long the shutter's open, and that's what you need. So now we'll go in and have a quick look at it. Okay, so plug your flat panel in and then in APT go to your tools tab where you'll find your CCD flats aid and extra devices. Uh, open them up and the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, find your, select your device from the list. Uh, you only have to do this the first time you connect it, APT will remember it. Um, and then select the correct COM port. Mine's on COM port 5, COM port 8's my GPS when it's plugged in. Uh, COM port 4 is my mount and COM port 3 is the USB serial driver. So COM port 5 and if you look in your status window at the bottom it'll tell you it's connected to it on COM port 5. Uh, if you ever need to refresh the connection just hit the refresh button and it will reconnect to it again. So there you go it's connected a second time. Okay, next you have your delay, and this is, like I said previously, depending on what mount, what uh, flat panel you have, will depend on how this works. Because I've got to add the uh, delay times two to my exposures, uh, because I've got the Pegasus, I make mine 500, it just makes it, means i just got to add one second. Uh, it doesn't make much difference to what's going on. And then you have the brightness for your collection of filters you might be using. Um, I've just a warning that I've, so I've said before, filter one position, uh, if there is no filter wheel connected, that's the brightness it will use. So it's best to have your, lum, your luminance filter in there, uh, that way you're not going to make a mistake with it. Um, so when I'm using my DSLR, I can use the flat panel and it will use whatever's in here. Or if I'm using my one-shot colour camera, it can do it the same. It'll use that filter. So what you set here will be varied depending on how much brightness you need to get the time you want. Um, luminance takes very very little so I'm going to set that down to 4 at the moment because um, that's the first one I'm going to be testing. So then we go over to our CCD flats aid, uh, your target ADU which should be around half your maximum ADU just round half or maybe a little bit less. Uh, mine has 65 and a half thousand or whatever it is for maximum ADU. So by setting at 31,500 with a range of 5% gives me about 30 to 33 for my range for my ADU. And that puts it in about the middle of the histogram where I want it. Um, you can go a little bit lower if you want in your histogram. Uh, 
to just below half, but I like it around the middle. And then you've got your exposure timings. I'm aiming to get an exposure of two seconds, uh, so my total exposure time will be three seconds. Um, that's what uh, ZWO actually recommend for theirs. It's just to deal with the uh, shutter opening and closing, um, getting rid of any artifacts created by that. So I reckon if I can get a two second exposure with my two times delay, that'll give me a three second total overall. Uh, and the minimum exposure, I set that as one. I'm not going to ever use it if it gets down near that. I want it up near two, maybe just a fraction over. Uh, my max five seconds, I never get up to that anyway, so that's fine. The gain, this is something you can play with. It does not have to be the same gain as you used for your images. Um, you don't want to go too high otherwise you'll start getting uh, your dead pixels and everything showing up um, but uh, you can go down to zero or up to whatever you want or if possible use what you've used for your main ones um, I've played around with this a bit in my normal setup and I already know that the gain I normally use which is 120 um, doesn't work too well with my lighter filter with my luminance filter so I'm going to go for about 80 in this one um, like I said I see no problems going a bit lower because all you're actually doing is trying to get an evenly lit field um, and and the gain doesn't really affect that too much it just get gets you that even field in a quicker time or a slower time depending on what you need your binning will need to be the same as for your um, image your light images um, 2x2 two two is what I normally use with this camera uh, region of interest if you had it you need to turn that on and then you've got your use filters and create plans um, as I'm going to be manually doing my filters at the moment I'm just leaving all that off and I will use it later on and create a plan to show you so next I'm going to do is I'm going to F2 switch to my gear tab so I can manually change my filter positions uh, I want to go to L to start with because that's where I'll be starting so once it's in that position all I need to do then is because I've got my 4% here I'm going to run it now just remember while you're running this if it comes up way too bright to start with or way too dark to start with you can always abort change your brightness and then come back and try it again and you need to do this with each filter you have so I'm going to hit run and see what I get with a 4% brightness and oh as you can see that's way way too bright so I'm going to actually abort it now um, otherwise I'm going to end up with too fast a, an image now one thing to remember that when you're changing the numbers up here the smaller the number you change the uh, bigger the effect it will have so I'm going to put this on three percent but that's a 25 percent reduction in the amount of light whereas I did it on the other ones with say 50 and changed it by one it's you know a much smaller percentage change so I've set that at three now so it's going to be a fairly big change and I'll hit run and see what we get this time and oh it's still way too big so I bought again and this time I'm going to go to two and again so that's another 33 percent off so run that and see what happens this time uh, we'll see oh that looks good that's about the middle and there you go it's reached it with a two second exposure so that's exactly what I want that is exactly what I want so I'm happy with that I'll leave that at the uh, two percent illumination then I'm just going to move on to my HA filter and uh, this is a three nanometer one I'll leave it at 50 percent to start with for this one and run that okay let's see a little bit low so it won't take much to get it up I'm, I'll be happy enough to leave it at that um, I may try 51 and see what's going on yeah actually I'll bought that I'll try 51 and see what it comes up with and I'll see if it's too bright so run so this is going to lift the uh, brightness now it's gone too bright so I'm going to end up with too slower uh, an exposure for me so I'll abort that I'll leave it on 50 uh, so run again so this will probably end up be about 
2.35 something like that for the exposure and that's not too bad that's about what I want anyway I don't know how APT works out how much to change your exposure so we went from two to three and a half and as you can see that's way too much there at the moment 2.75 still too big that's too much to the right and what have we got 2.375 that looks about right yep so 2.375 I'm happy with that so I'll leave it at that and just change over to my O3 filter and do the same thing this is the last one I'll try um, you need to go through and do this for all your filters if you wish um, some of these I wouldn't do it with because I don't use them they're only there to fill spaces for when I do the uh, calculate offsets for my f in the flat side okay so I know this is going to be well down on what um, my HA is so I got to put this at 30 and see what I come up with there so again just hit run and we'll see what it takes so this is a two second one uh, a little bit high maybe yeah it's only just a touch high now it's too low so I'm going to avoid that and I'll try 29 and run with that and see what happens yeah oh there you go that looks yeah two seconds there you go with a 29 percent so I'm happy with that and of course you could go through and do it on your rest of it now I'm just going to create a quick plan uh, using two and three this is my HA and my O3 filters because um, they're the ones I generally used just to note if you're going to be using filter positions to and from the filters you're going to be using need to be in uh, sequence so if you use LRGB you need to make sure your LRGB are in sequence so you might go LRGB HA because sometimes you do HA RGB but they need to be in sequence in your filter wheel so uh, now I'm going to create a plan so I just run that and this will basically do what it's done but do it on both filters and it creates a plan for you now if you already have a plan named flat side result um, it will ask you whether it want, you want to replace it or do you want to create a new plan um, I've only been playing with this at the moment so I've just override anything I've got there already and like I said this is exactly the same as what you did when you did it previously it's just doing it automatically uh, so how long is it doing this one should get it right and there it goes so that changes filter now and this should be a two second exposure if things haven't changed much and there we go so as you see I've got a plan that I've been playing with before uh, so I'll just click yes to overwrite it okay now we can go into your plan editor uh, your plans and um, as you see here there's the plan created with the two filters um, the only thing to remember is that for my dark flat plans because I'm using the Pegasus I need to add two times my delay to this and then I'll show you why for that if you hit alt I that brings up your fits header and if you have a look at the exposure time in here uh, this is for my O3 filter and it shows you at three seconds rather than the two seconds you have here and this is the time you need to match uh, that's the time the shutter is actually open if you've got an Owl attack or an art sky one you don't have to worry about it uh, but for these ones I do so what I do is I create a clone of this one um, cloning as a dark flat plan and then what I'll do is I'll go in and I will change update current so I've changed that to 3.5 then I'll go to the next line Wait command has been modified. Well, that's a new one on me. Okay. I don't know what that is, so I'll have to have a look into that one. And I just change this to three seconds as well. Update current. And there you go. So now my dark flats will match the time in the header from my uh, flats. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the in the. Uh, comments or go to the APT forum and post them there uh, a lot of good guys over there will help you out but for now I'll finish this one um, I'll go on and do my other filters I need to do later uh, I'm not too worried about it at the moment oh one thing I didn't mention make sure you're when you start this um, to create actually create a plan it doesn't matter why you're just 
working them out but why when you're actually going to do a plan uh, and run a plan make sure you're in focus when you do it because that is a vital part of it um, for doing flats not for dark flats but for flats themselves uh, make sure you've got that set up to uh, in focus so it gets everything right um, other than that I wish you all clear skies uh, take care of each other and I'll see you in another video thanks for watching bye